I believe Our Lady of Lourdes is a great school. I've been here for almost nine years. I do not regret a single day of it. Lourdes has certainly shown me how to grow my faith, academics, social life, and many other attributes. I've made so many memories and discovered so much about myself here. I remember how excited I was to go to math class and learn something new with Ms. Gerstle in fourth grade. And now in eighth grade, I'm excited to learn algebra. I wanted to bring up how this school has helped me grow spiritually. I've been going to church and attending this school here for almost nine years, and I've, I've sure learned a lot about my faith. I learned things from stories in the Bible to what us Catholics believe about certain topics. Our pastor, Father Scott, does a wonderful job at explaining the readings, especially to our younger audiences at Lourdes. He finds ways to make the stories both interesting and immaculate. Faith here is definitely a top priority. All in all, attending OLOL has certainly affected every aspect of my life, and I believe that this school has prepared me for what has been done. From the kind environment, to the adept teaching, to the paramount spirituality, Our Lady of Lourdes is the right choice for you. Welcome to Our Lady of Lourdes School. My name is Jeff Benton, principal here at school, and uh, these facilities have been around for a good long time now. We uh, opened as a parish in 1950, and this school is considered to be the largest ministry of Our Lady of Lourdes Parish. Uh, today, for our first stop, we'll move on to the gym, which is often used, but in these days, not quite so much. I'm keeping my mask with me, although I wanted you to at least see me in the face for just a moment before we continue with the rest of the tour. Obviously, with the uh, times we're in for the moment, uh, the gym is not used as much as it normally is, but this is a very well-used gym in the Archdiocese and very nice facilities for all sports that uh, need some, some big indoor space. All right, coming from the parking lot into the gym, upon exit of the gym, you follow this hallway here where we come to the main part of the school. Before we head upstairs, which is the main part, we first would uh, see our uh, one of our kindergarten classrooms, our cafeteria, and the church sanctuary. So we'll go ahead and go to the uh, cafeteria first. Because these are COVID times, uh, we aren't using our cafeteria the way we have for the last 70 years, but uh, we are using it for uh, things such as uh, classrooms to allow enough spacing and social distancing where students can get what they need. It's also used for our aftercare program in the afternoons. And even though we aren't using uh, this cafeteria uh, for eating space, we still are, the, ki the kitchen is very much still in use and uh, we have our uh, meals brought up to our students on a daily basis. This is one of our kindergartens. We have uh, one down here on the main floor of school and another up uh, across from the office. Our kindergartners receive a uh, buddy, their first year here in the big time. And that buddy, to the extent we can, stays with them through their first and second grade years. Just beyond the door, or I'm sorry, the door, the, the wall over here is our pre-K. Uh, and uh, that has, uh, the capacity this year for about 30 uh, children, three and four year old. And uh, that uh, you will see here in uh, just a few minutes. Our Lady of Lourdes is a two-time nationally recognized Blue Ribbon Award winning school, and we're very proud of that. Uh, annually, uh, though, our numbers are meeting the minimum standards for uh, such recognition, and uh, that's something we strive very hard to achieve. Um, we're going to head upstairs now, and uh, you can take a look uh, very quickly at our at the entrance to our sanctuary. Uh, we do have mass on Thursdays. Every Thursday morning, we have a school mass. And uh, for the time being, we uh, select classrooms to be able to come in and uh, participate with uh, Father Scott while the rest of the school is able to engage uh, through live streaming. We're going to have you join now our wonderful assistant principal, Ms. Morgan Wissing, at the top of the stairs, and she'll continue with the tour. Thank you very much for being here with us. Hello, 
Hello, my name is Mrs. Morgan Wissing. I am the assistant principal here at Lourdes, and I'm very excited to take you on a tour of what we call our second level here. So come follow me. This is our front school office. So if you were ever a visitor or coming, this is where you would come to sign in. And you probably just got to visit the uh, Miss Burton's kindergarten classroom, which is down on our first level. This is our second kindergarten classroom. This is Mrs. Herbert's room, and there she is over there still working this afternoon. Say hi, Miss hi Herbert. Guys. So now I'm going to take you right down the hall here to our computer lab and our library. Follow me. We call this lab the reading lab. This lab is actually designated only for our uh, primary reading program. Right around the corner here, another little secret spot. Most people don't know about this. This is our reading room. As you can see, this reading room is filled with a rich environment for our primary reading program. This is where Mrs. Napier, who is our resource teacher and primary reading teacher for the program, this is her place, this is her space with the students and where she works with them. Now we're gonna walk down past the office again and I will show you the primary hallway. Our first stop here are our two second grade classrooms. They each have, we have two home rooms and each uh, home teacher teaches all the subjects to their students. Let's go on into Ms. Brown's room and we'll take a look around. Right across the hall from the second grade, is our third grade classrooms. We also have two homerooms and third grade. Let's pop into Mrs. Motif's room so you can see what one of our third grade classrooms looks like. And then just a little further down the hallway, right here at the end, we have our wonderful first grade classrooms. So we will pop in and take a look at Mrs. McCord's classroom. And I'm gonna hand the tour over to our learning coordinator, Mrs. Askin, and she will take you from there. Hi, I'm Deanna Askin and I'm the learning coordinator here at Lourdes and I'm going to take you on the tour going up the stairs. These are our two fourth grade classrooms. Now earlier you saw the two third grade classrooms. Grades three and four are departmentalized. And so all of the students would see each of these four teachers, the two third grade teachers and the two fourth grade teachers throughout their day. And right around here, Mrs. Wolves' classroom is for science, social studies, and fourth grade religion. So we'll take a look at what one of our typical fourth grade classrooms looks like. It looks like fall. And as we go on down the hall, We have another sixth grade homeroom here, and this is for Mrs. Cronin. She teaches math and religion. Our science lab is large and well equipped, and uh, as you can see, it's a nice big space. It's predominantly used by our um, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade science classes. If you've got an older child, the moment you've been waiting for, junior high. This is our junior high hallway. And we're gonna stop right here first. We have two seventh grades, two eighth grades. This is a seventh grade homeroom. It's Mrs. Park and she teaches literature to the students. Hello, Mrs. Park. 
over there diligently cleaning the Chromebooks, I see. This is Mr. Tolles' classroom. He is our wonderful seventh and eighth grade math teacher. As well, he teaches religion to the seventh grade students. And uh, he is fantastic. He exposes all of the children in seventh grade to pre-algebra, and then in eighth graders, all in the eighth grade, all of our students uh, exit our school having had Algebra 1. Many of those students test out of Algebra 1 before they go to high school, and so they go right on into Algebra 2. We're going to move on down to science next, and speaking of math and science, again, Typically, not during Corona time right now, um, but typically we have our students gender separated for math and science. So our girls in seventh and eighth grade take math and science together. Our boys in seventh and eighth grade typically take math and science together. And I appreciate you coming along with me. Thanks and welcome to Lourdes. I want to share my most precious memory from my time at Lourdes. I remember when I was in third grade, which still feels like yesterday, and I was in Ms. Gershel's math class. It was a Friday and the entire school was wearing yellow for a Cancer Awareness Day. Miss Gerstle would always sing her fabulous Friday song at the end of our Friday classes. I can still remember every word to it. But while she was singing, our entire school was called out to the parking lot. When we arrived, everyone was there. I saw my little cousin in kindergarten, my friends in the class above me, and I saw my teachers. With everyone in our yellow shirts, we were all aligned in a gigantic heart. I love that day so much and I can't remember the exact reasons. Maybe it was because we were all dressed for an important cause, or maybe it was because I felt united with the school and that giant heart. I will cherish my well-loved memories from this wonderful school forever.